Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for July of 22. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all the best new free assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. In the next video I'll be covering top assets and effects. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And as always there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon CodeMonkey10 to get 10% off your order. Now, you might have noticed that I didn't do one of these videos last month. The reason for that is because I was super busy working on my turn-based strategy course, which is finally out after 5 months of work. If you want to take your game dev skills from beginner to advanced, then check out the course. And if you need any visuals right now, there's a massive sale on the Synthi store, almost everything at half price. They've got packs for pretty much every single theme or genre. For Medieval, you have their gorgeous Fantasy Kingdom pack. For something cyberpunk, you have the sci-fi pack. For military games, you have the military pack, or alternatively, the post-apocalypse pack. There's the heist one that I've used in so many videos, the street racer pack for some really nice racing games, shops pack for any tycoon, and much more. So if you're a fan of their style just like me, and you need some assets for your game, then check it out to the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with a nice simple tool with a very humorous name, here is yet another prefab painter. Just like the name implies, this is a tool for painting or easily instantiating prefabs. Pretty much every massive terrain tool usually has something like this, but if you want a tool that does just this, then this one looks great. I'm always a fan of tools that do one thing and one thing alone very well, and this is exactly that. It works with any prefab, so you can drop some rocks, trees, humans, buildings, and really anything you want. You can include physics or not, so to make your scenes much more natural. You can even have multiple brushes, so one click to place individually, or place them along a line or a spline. So this looks like a great tool that does a single thing extremely well. Next up, a tool for easily setting up custom inspectors. This one features a really nice, really easy to use drag drop interface. You can add all kinds of fields, like some text fields, add some colors, some game object references, booleans and so on. You can do all of that without writing a single line of code. So this one looks really interesting. Usually for custom inspectors, the best tool would be something like Odin, but this one seems even easier to use. In just a few seconds or a few minutes, you can have a great custom inspector. So this is the kind of thing that can really help you save a ton of time. Next up, if you want to paint any objects, look at this tool. Honestly, this one looks perfect for non-artists just like me to be able to easily modify any of the assets that I use. There's a ton of brushes you can use. You can just click to paint on any object. It's a really advanced tool. It also features layers, opacity, blending modes, tons of options. Also supports pixel art, it supports physics collisions, for example like paintballs. It works on all the render pipelines, it's super performant, so works well on both mobile and VR. It even works in both 3D and 2D, there's an undo and redo system and tons tons more. So this looks like a really great tool for getting the most out of all your assets. Next up, if you need some rocks but you don't want to use a static asset pack, look at this awesome generator. Every result generated by this is really unique. You have tons of parameters to play with. Using those, you can really see just how much variation you can get. It even includes 19 pre-made rock materials, so you can get them looking perfectly just like a stylized rock. And the rocks themselves use triplanar projection, meaning that you can use a single material, you can have hundreds of rocks, and all of them rendered in a single draw call. This one is a really impressive asset. Personally, I think the generated rocks look great, so if this style matches your game, then definitely check it out. Then we have another simple but super useful tool, the Pivot Cursor tool. This one allows you to click to place the cursor anywhere, so it can be on the corner of an object, it can be in the middle, on a side, and so on. And then you can do all kinds of operations using that point as the pivot. You can scale, rotate, scale only on two axes, easily rotate along the edge or scale in just one direction, for me, one of my most searched videos is a super quick video that I made on how to modify the pivot. Basically, you need a parent object and then offset the child to where you want the pivot to be. So the built-in way of doing that is pretty tricky, whereas with this tool, it seems like it makes the process so much simpler. Up next, we have another simple tool, the Animation Preview. It does exactly what it says. So basically, you just grab whatever character you want to test. You dump all of your animations into a single animated controller. There is no need to create any transitions, any anything, and it automatically creates a bunch of buttons in the inspector to play each individual animation. So it's a really simple tool for previewing whatever animation packs you have and try using them with any character you have. Then for something a bit more complex, here we have a physics joint tool. Unity has physics joints by default, but they can be quite a bit tricky to set up. These look much easier and much more capable. 
It includes all kinds of constraints and limits. So you can see how it even works with mechanical meshes that are not supposed to deform. It also includes some IK, so you modify just the target and the other bones rotate and move to reach the final position. It features stretching and contracting, there's some wiggliness, you can even collide and handle collisions with other objects. So really quite a lot of possible use cases from some very simple joints to very complex. If you have trouble with the built-in tools, then maybe something like this can be useful. Then if you're looking for a character controller, here's a pretty advanced one. Making a simple controller is pretty easy, but making one that supports every single interaction that your players expect, doing that is pretty difficult. This one supports every interaction you can think of. So it features some basic movement, it also slides on slopes, you can push around physics objects, you can climb up ladders, do a double jump, crouch, go into anti-gravity and much more. You can even apply it to a vehicle and just drive around. The demo scene looks like it perfectly shows all of the various use cases. Looks like pretty much a perfect character to control. Up next, if you've got a car game and you want to add a character and look at this tool, it adds IK to the driver's arms and legs, making the character perfectly grab the steering wheel and change gears with their hand. This one is a simple thing but really adds up on the immersion factor. Especially in the first person camera, you can really see the massive difference. It looks so much better like this, rather than just having a ghost steering wheel move by itself. Also has an easy integration with various other popular car controllers, or if you don't have any of those, this one also includes a car controller. And then over here we have an adaptive split screen tool. This one, like the name implies, it slices the screen to showcase multiple players all at once. It has a really natural look, so it's not just a boring vertical line up and down the middle. Instead, it dynamically splits and merges the screens depending on where the players are. It's really awesome to see it in action. It almost looks like magic how all of the areas split as the players come apart and they merge back as soon as they get closer to one another. So if your game has local multiplayer, then this looks like an excellent tool. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Accessor for July of 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And don't forget to check out the sale on the Synthi store, pick up some gorgeous assets at half price. And as always, check out my free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.